We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I caught her out, now I got blood on blue Balenciagas What's going on guys, it's your boy Barry here coming to you guys with a brand new 2K video Well, I'm sorry guys, I know a little bit of this information is a tad bit old But I was not able to record this weekend and when I got the news I was doing some stuff so but the video is coming out now and i wanted to touch on a couple of things that were talked about over the last couple of days so i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do leave a like let's get right into it well right now i want to talk about dribble fatigue and the first thing about oh shit sorry about that anyways first thing about dribble fatigue in 2k19 is that if you over dribble your ball will drop or your ball control will drop and your moves will degrade in speed and effectiveness now, I'm not necessarily positive if this is a dribble nerf necessarily. I, there was already like, you know, if you did the behind the bag too many times and you didn't have a high enough rating, you know, you'd tire out. But like, I don't know. Uh, I definitely feel like dribble spammers aren't going to be as effective. So you really got to do what you got to do and then move on. So, in your opinion, guys, I'm trying to figure out if it's just me or would you guys have rather them make it so it took more out of your stamina bar to do uh, dribble moves or the fact that you uh, your ball control would be crazy? Because, like, you're, there's going to be people that are just getting stripped out of nowhere now. Like, that kind of seemed to happen to me a lot already in 2K18. And I didn't, I thought it was just because I was too tall and still trying to do dribble moves. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this seems to be more of a of a nerf for dribblers or what. But also we have uh, the hop gatherers or the step back jumpers. They uh, they're only for tier three ball handlers. Like they can only uh, like when you do the step back jumper instead of taking a shot. You know, this year you were able to step back and then immediately start driving toward the basket. You really fuck people up. But you can only do that if you're a tier three ball handler, which I think is around like a a eight, maybe ninety and up. I, I don't know. I think I think it might be eighty eight to ninety, like in ninety and up. But I, I'm not positive. So I'm pretty sure ninety and up is where tier three starts. So a, only high tier ball handlers are going to be able to do that. So that's a, we won't see very much of that except for people that have like you know purchased uh, VC early. So yeah, and if you're a tier one. It, it, there's three tiers to this this note if you try to do it at tier two your ball it'll be slower but still controlled so you can still do it but it'll be a lot slower and a little bit less effective on a lot of situations and if you're a tier one ball handler and you try to do this you're gonna drop the ball every time every time so that's kind of I, I don't know how I feel about that I, I really feel like they're trying to make it so dribbling makes more sense and I think that's cool but at the same time I don't know how the 2k community is gonna handle it so definitely give me your thoughts on that as well in the comment section below and we have one more thing to talk about guys the poll hasn't ended yet but the poll goes from what should have more influence uh, whether you make or miss shots open versus contested or good versus bad timing so here's my thing right now the poll on Twitter is at 56% uh, towards how open you are in shot quality and my thing is is that that's how it should have been from the start like I realize it's a video game but shot timing should never have been how you made your shots like being how open you are like there's no reason that if you have a reasonable three-pointer Yes, I'd say reasonable. It's like a 75 and up. There's no reason for you to take an open shot, three point, mid range, whatever, and miss it. And I don't know if these count towards because it says open, uh, make or miss shots. So I'm not sure if this has to do with layups too. But anything that you're open with, it shouldn't matter your shot time now when it says shot quality i'm not sure if that means like you know because it's sometimes a bad shot you can still make that with good shot time it's it, it, you know that it, the contested the super heavily contested green beans that are rare but they come along every now and then like you can you can still hit those but i'm not sure if 
you know, I'm not, I, I, I don't know. I don't think that that should ever have been a thing where shot timing was what was the end all be all. And I think that with it, with this big change, it could be one of those big changes that really make 2K more fun, like in general. And I also, because the defense system is better, I don't know how those are going to clash. Because if the defense is system is more of a crutch type thing, like it's really easy for anybody to play defense, then that might be hard to get open. And by nerfing the dribbling too, this is just what makes me think that an archetype where you're like a playmaking slasher or any type of like get to the rim type archetype is going to be very effective so that's just my thoughts on the situation like i said guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys have anything to say about any th the topics that we talked about today make sure you guys put it in the comment section below so we can have a start conversation going i'll see you guys next time peace